Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Simple Secure for WordPress, which is a secure form processor that uses GPG to encrypt your contact forms. So to get started, you're going to need to have GPG installed on whatever machine it is that you're going to be checking those email messages, receiving the email messages. Uh, GPG is at gnupg.org. Now GPG is actually a command line program. You can access it from a shell but it's much easier to use one of the Windows programs, especially if you're a Windows or a Mac OS user. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to show you how to use the Mac version. The Windows version is very similar. Um, since I have Mac, I'm going to show you that. And here we can see GPG tools for the Mac. I'm going to click on that. It takes me to the GPG tools site. And I have the installer here, which I've actually already downloaded, so I'm not going to bother downloading it, but it's just like every other app. You download it, you run the installer, and then once you run the installer, you're going to have two things. You're going to have a new program called GPG Keychain Access, and it's also going to install a plugin in your mail client. And that plugin is going to allow you to, once you receive an encrypted email message, it's going to have a new button that you can click, and it's going to decrypt it. There's two parts to GPG keys. There's a public part and a private part. And the way that encryption works is you send out your public key to anybody. You can publish it on your website. It's, it's not confidential. And people use that to encrypt a message that can only be decrypted using the private key, or also called the secret key. So you are going to create a public and private key pair. That's two keys. And then the public key is the one that we're going to share. I'm going to go to Keychain Access. I've already got some keys, but I'm just going to create a dummy key. And I'm going to call this Test Key. And for the email address, I'm going to put jason at dev.null. This is a fake email, obviously. I don't want to upload this key. What, what this means is there's a central server that it's like a directory service. I'm not really interested in that. <clears throat> Under the advanced options, I pretty much leave these as is, the recommended settings for the key type and the size. If you don't want to keep replacing your key, you can say that it never expires. I'm going to generate the key, and it's going to ask me for a passphrase, which I'm going to type in the passphrase of password. Okay, so test key. Here's the key pair. And you can see I have a uh, public key and a private key. I need to get the public key so that I can use it to share. I'm just going to right click or control click on the key pair, say export. I don't want the secret key to be exported. I'm only doing the public key. So I'm going to call this uh, public key dot, and it's going to be a text file. So I'm just going to say that txt. Save that. It's now exported. So I have that over here now on my desktop. And if I open it, so this is my public key, and all you do is copy that text. It's just plain text. You can copy it and paste it. And now that I have my key, I can go into Simple Secure plugin, which I've installed. Click Add a New Key, and I'm going to paste in the key that we generated. There it is. And I'm going to enter in the email address associated with it, which is jason at dev.null. So we use OK. So that looks good. And then I'm going to click Save Settings. Uh, once I have a key, now I can go into a post, which I have a new post here, and I just use the short code. I say simple secure email equals json at dev.null. Now here I use the email address that I provided there, and that's how simple secure is going to know what key to use. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that on the website. So now I see a secure contact form. Once the user submits this form, you're going to receive an encrypted email message. I'm not going to open up my email client because I don't really want to show all of my personal email messages that I have. But at that point, you just follow the instructions for using uh, whatever GPG tool it is that you're using, and you decrypt the message. So I'm going to stop off there. Encryption can be a little tricky to get set up. I definitely recommend getting familiar with GPG, but as far as the plugin is concerned, I think I've showed you everything you need to know to get going. So I hope that helps. Thanks a bunch for watching.